Hmm. What's that black cracker? A tomato. You're not gonna eat a sandwich from a truck stop men's room, are you? Eh, what's the worst thing that could happen? Ugh. It's like a party in my mouth and everyone's throwing up. Hey, what's up guys, and welcome back to Binging with Black Scarab Films, where today we're going to be tackling the mythical egg salad sandwich from the Futurama episode, Parasites Lost. That turned Philip J. Fry from a lovable everyman into a near-invincible super genius. Will my version be able to make you an expert holophoner player able to win Lilo's heart? Probably not, but let's try anyway. And I know what you're all thinking, something's not right here. How can I possibly create a sandwich in 2021 that was eaten in the year 3002, but I think I can do it. Because we don't know how long that sandwich was sitting in that truck stop bathroom vending machine, and it may have indeed been created in the 21st century. Obviously, we weren't given a recipe in-universe, but based on visuals, we can glean that the sandwich's bread is brown, which indicates that it was likely made from your basic processed whole wheat bread. Which, I suppose, makes it somewhat healthier than if it was on your basic processed white bread. The next step is to make the egg salad, and since I don't know how they're going to be making egg salad in the future, I'm going to use a recipe for classic egg salad from America's Test Kitchen. Which means I'll need six large peeled hard-boiled eggs. In order to get that, you take six regular eggs and place them into a medium saucepan and cover them with an inch of water. Then bring them to a boil over high heat, remove the pan from the heat, cover and let sit for ten minutes. After that, we're going to shock them in an ice bath and let them sit for an additional five minutes. During all that waiting, you can feel free to assemble your other ingredients, such as a quarter cup of mayonnaise, two tablespoons of minced red onions, a tablespoon of minced fresh parsley, half a stalk of finely chopped celery, two teaspoons of Dijon mustard, two teaspoons of lemon juice, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and some freshly ground black pepper to taste. Once the eggs have cooled and cooking was halted, we can peel our eggs and get down to business. Dice your eggs, mix the rest of the ingredients into the bowl, Stir with your choice of implement, I'm using this spoon since I have misplaced my tiny whisk, and stir everything until everyone gets to know each other fairly well. And the parsley and the lemon juice are best friends with the celery, onion, and eggs, and there you have it. Next step is the blackened cracker-esque slice of tomato, which I've tried to achieve using black food coloring, a beefsteak tomato, and to get the crunchy consistency, I've tried to fry it up in a pan, baked it for about 30 minutes on a rimmed baking sheet covered in aluminum foil, and used an air fryer, but unfortunately, Unfortunately, all my trials were, pardon the pun, less than fruitful, because none of them came out quite right. I'm sure it's theoretically possible, but my culinary skills are not up to snuff for this particular challenge, so I ended up giving up. Once that's done, all that's left is to spread the egg salad onto your bread, wrap your sandwich in some cling wrap, and there you have it. You've got Fry's Truck Stop Egg Salad Sandwich. And the next step is to store it inside my bathroom until the sandwich is aged properly, and yeah, I'm just kidding. Even though it's wrapped in plastic, I still don't want anything I'm intending on eating to be anywhere near a toilet. Now let's take a bite and, ugh, it's like a party in my mouth and everyone's throwing up. Just kidding, yeah, it's pretty good. I'd considered making it without any of the extra ingredients, just egg and mayonnaise, because I figured the processed truck stop sandwich wouldn't be flavorful, but that seemed boring and not worth dedicating a whole video to. Besides, it's egg salad. You either like it or you don't, and no amount of seasoning is going to change that. But let's take a look at the cross-section, because why not? And again, it's egg salad. And what better way to wash down this delicious abomination than with a nice cold can of Slurm, the unidentifiable slug goop soft drink that I'm pretty sure was based on Mountain Dew. Which is why I've just gotten a bottle of Mountain Dew. In case you were wondering, Mountain Dew is equally as bad as you remember it being. Now it truly is like a party in my mouth, and everyone is indeed throwing up. But the egg salad sandwich is definitely a member of the Clean Plate Club. Now I'm off to go fix the plasma fusion boiler, and hopefully won't get impaled on a lead pipe. 